if I traded it all, if I so welcome back, everyone. Now, my next guest has also never been on my show before. I have with me Trent Woods, and he is the owner of Woods Law Group. Welcome to the show. You know, tell everybody a little bit about you and what we're going to talk about today. Okay. So first off, I'm a fifth-generation Arizonan. I was born and raised here. I love Arizona. I love the people. I love what I do, and I love helping my fellow Arizonans. I love that you are, because there's not many of you. There's not. That isn't. Well, we're going to be live on Facebook right now, so I want to say hi to everybody. You can also follow us, uh, like us, and all of that. And everything that you hear here, you can do out there. So if you're calling in or whatever it is, you all this information is for you all out there as well. So, okay. I want to talk a little bit about you and the kind of attorney you are and what we're going to talk about today. Okay. I'm an estate planning attorney. So some of the listeners out there just rolled their eyes and said, oh, no, I'm going to be bored to tears. I promise it's not as boring as it sounds. There's all kinds of drama in estate planning, believe it or not. Oh, my God. It's the best drama, actually. (laughs) Uh, Well, not when it's happening to you. I have to be honest. But because I had that, my dad thought he had everything was all taken care of. No way, Jose. So listen up, everyone, because this is important information for you. And I love the way that you put that because it's so true. Well, you know, there unfortunately, there is a lot of drama and I hear that a lot. But the sad part is a lot of people think that their family's taken care of. That's one of the things I hear a lot. Oh, we're good. I have a will. We're good. Everything's set. Well, often that's not the case. And they only find out when mom or dad pass away. And then the family's in turmoil. Mm-hmm. Um, siblings are stealing from each other. Siblings are fighting, fighting. over ironing boards. Oh my Literally, God. major battle, legal battle over an ironing board. And that's sad. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, you know, I've seen cases where, where one sibling stole a car from another, called the police on other ones. It is wild. And it's all because they didn't have an estate plan. Right. So, now, hey, this is what I want to find out a little bit of information from you, okay? So you do free consultations, and you had said to me before you came on that you have far, uh, five-star ratings, like, everywhere. So tell, tell them a little bit about that. It's important, so go ahead. You know, here's the bottom line, is I became an attorney attorney um, because I was once a client of attorneys. Regularly, I was, I was a construction management. It was a litigious industry. I met regularly with our attorney for years and years and years. And one of our attorneys was great. Not all of them were. And that led me to becoming an attorney because I wanted to be the type of attorney that I wished I had. So my clients generally love me because I always look out for them. I do flat fees up front that are fair and honest. There's no tricks. There's no surprises. There's no games. There's no blank check that they're writing. Okay. But then the other thing is I spend a lot of time with them. A lot of attorneys, they, they meet with their, the client for an hour and then paralegals do everything else. Paralegals draft the documents, paralegals communicate with the clients, paralegals do the signing. That's not the case in my office. I meet with every client. I do the signings. I, re, I draft everything or at least another attorney drafts it. I always spend at least three to four hours face-to-face with every client um, that's an estate planning client. Now, when I uh, was talking to you earlier, you said you're statewide, so you can help anyone anywhere. Now, uh, and I love the way they put, you put that. You are the attorney everyone wishes they had. And you say that you do a flat rate, mm-hmm. and you do free consultations. Do. The number to call direct, it is 480-360-1776. It's woodslawaz.com. Now, I want to go into some things. I mean, some people know certain things here. And I'm going to go away from this for a second, okay? Um, what do you find is the number one thing that people uh, don't do? you know, when they are doing their estate planning. And I, I, I called it estate planning. I guess, is, is that right to that's, say that? That's right. Okay. So the number one thing people don't do is they don't do the estate planning in the first place. Right. Right. So uh, an estimated 60% of Americans don't even have a will, much less a full plan. So first and foremost, you have to step out of the boat, right, to, to use Doc's words. You have to step out of mine, the boat. That was mine, but that's okay. Do a free con. Oh, it was yours. My apologies. <laughs> step out of the boat, take that leap of faith, and come meet with me and find out what an estate plan can do for you. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. The second thing is people often think that all estate plans, all wills, all trusts are the same, right? It's not. It's, it's a bit like saying, I want to buy a car without differentiating, right? Not all cars are created equal. Well, not all estate plans are created equally as well. They can't, There's, they can't be. There's a ton of opportunities we can do to help maintain family harmony, help the kids get along after mom and dad pass away. We can protect the money for the children. We can protect them, the money from the children themselves. That's often a problem. 
lot of people, you know, they have an 18-year-old going to inherit 20,000, 20 million, 5 million, 100,000. It doesn't matter what that is. An 18-year-old, most 18-year-olds that inherit that kind of money, they blow it, mm -hmm. right? They blow it. They drink it, smoke it, snort it, gamble it away, whatever, right? Not all, but most. So there are things we can do to protect that money from the kids themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a really flexible process designed around that family. Now, today, everybody is into the Internet, okay? And they try and do things themselves because I guess they think that you know, uh, that they know what they're doing, or what would mistakes could they be making when they do that? Well, that, that's a mistake by itself, first off, because they don't know what they're doing, right? I mean, the basics of creating a will, the, the simple legal requirements aren't that difficult, but they're missing out on a lot of planning opportunities, a lot of things they could do to protect their children, provide extra benefits, and even and provide for themselves during their lifetime. The, the problem is they don't know what they don't know. Here's what I'm going to tell you right now, because I know people kind of relate to me a little bit, right? I should keep. But, um, you know, when my dad, and he used, obviously, he had an attorney and he had a will and he had the trust he had it all but there was still problems and here's the thing if you think that you're going to go up there and and you take care of it let me tell you something you're alive right now get it done and make sure it's done correctly because you know no matter what no matter what you think there's always that one thing that could be wrong. And for us, it was huge what was wrong that he did. And it was so simple, as simple as notarizing something uh -oh. that he didn't, that he thought he did. And I'm just talking to you people out there how important it is that how easily it can be that you could make some silly little thing that could make such a big mistake for everybody else out there. And, you know, the children are the ones that get hurt. And you wanted them to have all this and you created this and you were so you were so wonderful to be able to leave that with that for them and then what problems problems the number to call them is 480 Three six zero one seven seven six. He's statewide. It's WoodsLawAZ.com. They do free consultations, five star ratings everywhere, everywhere, and he is the attorney that everyone wishes that they had. So give him a call. The number he does free consultations. I know you're driving right now. Four eight zero three six zero one seven seven six. Okay, so what would be like a myth? I want to just get to something that they wouldn't maybe realize. Okay. Okay, so a lot of people think, when, uh, well, the number one myth I hear is that a will avo avoids probate. They think they have a will and they're good. Well, they don't. A will, by definition, has to be probated, Carol. Uh, most people don't realize that. They really need a trust to avoid probate, but they don't understand. A lot of people think trusts are for millionaires who have mansions and private jets, but that's not the case. Trusts are for nearly everyone. Everyone can benefit from, benefit from a trust. Does everyone need a trust? No, not necessarily. And I'm not going to sell something they don't need, but we want to look at the options and, and let the client know what their options are so they can make an informed decision. Well, you also said something very, you know, everybody has stuff, right? Right. So that's your will. But some people don't have, I mean, like my brother, he passed away, a, a very, didn't even know that he was going to do that. But when he knew that he just said, well, just split everything three ways, you know, and that was it. Mm -hmm. But you can't just say something like that and think that's your will. Right. Well, verbal, a verbal, I mean, verbally saying that is not a will. No. And second, but even saying split everything three ways is fine on its surface, but then you get into problems on who gets mom's wedding ring, who gets dad's guns, who gets the favorite whatever it is, the heirloom, right? Those are things that don't split three ways easily, and there's, the, there's a problem. Yeah, the there's a thing, big problem. The other thing you hit on is you said your brother passed away kind of unexpectedly, mm -hmm. and that's the thing is none of us know when we're going to die. Right. But as important as death is and or planning for our death, Death. It's not just about death. It's also about our health care, right? And, and so that's part of this. An estate plan includes the health care documents so that others can make you know, health care decisions for you if you become incapacitated. So think stroke, heart attack, dementia, Alzheimer's. You get in a car accident. Um, you're in a coma. Any of those things, well, if you want your family to be able to make quick decisions for you, you need a health care power of attorney. If you don't want to end up in, in a coma for 15 years while your family fights out whether to pull the plug or not, you need a living will. All of those things are included in a complete estate plan. Now, you do free consultations. He is the attorney that everyone wishes. And I, you know, I can only tell that because you kind of 
seem like that kind of guy. You just do. Uh, uh, free consultation. He's statewide. The number to call him, it's 480-360-1776. Please tell them, leave them with one thing that you want to leave them with right now uh, for them to know that would be most important. Go ahead. You know, come in, talk about your family. Let's talk about the options. That's it. I, I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm not going to sell you a bill of goods. I want you to know your options and the pros and cons of those options so you can make an informed decision. Do it, because let me tell you something. I'm one that get, got hurt big time from it, and, uh, and, and he thought that he did everything. So you don't know. And the best thing to do is to do that free consultation, find out a little bit. Everybody's got a different story, so that's what you got to do. Give him a call. The number is 480 3 Six zero one seven seven six. It's Woods Law AZ dot com.